Ivan. Hey, how are you today? Oh, I'm very good. Tell me what we will cook today. Oh, today, yeah, I'm gonna cook um the rice, vegetable rice. That okay. Is, with some fried plantain. Okay. Fish. Mm, what type of fish it will be? It will be my mai. Wow, super cool. I'm looking forward. All right. So then I have my pot on the fire. Coloring and the little flavor, you know? Mm -hmm. The soften is very healthy. Yeah. Friend, we really? call it saffron, but ah, the okay. original is turmeric. Okay. All right. And then we have the rice, and I washed, and I washed. Mm -hmm. So, for how many person you cook? So, for yeah. this, I'm cooking for eight person. Okay, so for every person you will cook one hand of uh, rice, or how you measure uh, amount of rice? Well, I tell you, it's naturally, I just <laughs> know, but what we have here is like um, two pounds. Right, because I put I put a little extra because you never know. Yeah. Somebody yeah. may pop up and want. Yeah, yeah. You of know. course. What I do? Mm -hmm. I don't add water. I turn up the like this. In this way, I want it to get an even color. Mm -hmm. So all the stuff run will be in. So with no water, you just cover. Okay. I just cover. All right. And I let it sit. Okay. For about three minutes or so. Okay. Why? And in that way, the rice will kind of get absorbed. Yeah. The flavor from the onion and the garlic okay. and the saffron. Okay. And then it will get. That's how you get it to become because I don't want it to be overcooked. Okay. So when I so add the water now, yeah, it will just be enough to get it cooked. Okay. To, uh, to the right um, texture. Ah, okay. Fantastic. After the rice is finished cooked, I am going to also saute the rice with a little sweet pepper. Okay. Uh, well, we call it sweet pepper, but it's pimento. Mm -hmm. So after I finish prep for the rice here, mm -hmm. I am going to start with um, well, I have some. I'm going to do some garlic potato okay. as well. Mm -hmm. But I already had them boiled. Okay. So I had them boiled. Mm -hmm. so after, and um, I'll make a sauce to go with it. Mm -hmm. the garlic sauce. Okay. So I have to grate the carrot and the garlic and mm -hmm. cook it on the stove for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then if I place it, cut the potato, mm -hmm. place it on the top so that mm -hmm. it can absorb and I put it to make a little grill. Okay, yeah, sounds good. I my plantains. Mm -hmm. They're looking like this mm -hmm. because they came from St. Vincent over the weekend. Mm -hmm. And after they were ripe, that's how they cut them, inside this foam. Okay. So it looks like this on the outside, yeah. but it's foam on the inside. Okay. So it's a sweet, so I will use some of this, mm -hmm. peel them, mm -hmm. slice them, and I just do the preparation. Okay. But tell me, you said that you have um, like uh, fish and then a lot of side dish. This is a way to eat normally, yeah? So it's uh, yes. like you always eat not with one side dish, it's always a lot. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. More so, I want um, persons to see what we eat and how we eat or we cook. Okay. You know, because yeah. everybody has their own taste, their own yeah. way they do things. Okay. So that's one of the things. It's my grated carrot mm -hmm. and garlic. Okay. This is for my garlic. Mm -hmm. Well, this is one of the ways that I cook. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it can also go on the fish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you can put it, you can use it with so many different things. Okay. You can use it for a dip. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put this there. And after I like this tool, I set it aside. Mm -hmm. so when it's done, then I can move and start frying my plantain. We have the carrot here. This is for the rice. It is already prepared. Mm -hmm. So we have the carrot. Let's do it on um, a little soy sauce. And we have some cumin in it. Done with curry. Okay. It's already prepared, so when I after the rice is cooked, mm -hmm. I'm going to saute the, these together, which we have the pepper here and the garlic here. Mm -hmm. Okay. The mint and the garlic here. So I saute them in a pot again. Mm -hmm. And then I toss the rice in. Mm. 
so then you get the flip coming out of the mm -hmm. I steam it like this because sometimes the garlic has a loud taste, mm -hmm. very loud and to be burning. And I, when you put it on the heat like this, it helps to extract some of the tenseness in the garlic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. so I'll cook it like this. Mm -hmm. So this hole that I put in it mm -hmm. will help the garlic sauce. Ah, to absorb the okay. Interesting. Okay. So you put in each of the half of potato yes. a little bit of salt. Okay. Ah, all right. Interesting. And then I put it in like this, and I put first. Mm -hmm. And then after I poke it again. Okay. okay. So now, mm -hmm. with the boiling, I put it up a little higher. Mm -hmm. so you can boil it mm -hmm. Now it's almost done. I'm going to lower it down so it can simmer. Take it time and finish. But tell me, it can be a way also that you can put salted fish on this potato if uh, you can do that yeah? if you want. So normally you can make with carrots with uh, garlic or you don't make something like this. Yes. Yeah? Sometimes you do like this or sometimes you just do the potato without that and you can put the fish in there. Okay. The fish okay. can become like this. Okay. Like the okay. garlic and the Important not just because of taste, it's because of the color too. Yes. Okay. Well, okay. I try to get my contrast. Okay. Beautiful. All so right. Because most people, yeah. they not only taste the food, but when they see it, you eat with your eyes. It must be appealing. Okay. You see? Yeah. So just cabbage with olive oil and salt. Yes, okay. and I'm gonna do um, about put some cucumber with it. Okay, alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I get the green. Okay, green. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. How interesting you cook everything, uh, cut everything on your hands. Yes. I never saw the skills on you. You do so often that you know you have an average, you just know how much to cut. Uh -huh. So normally all recipe it's not like uh, 200 grams of rice, 300 grams of water. It's just every every time with your feeling and your eyes. Yeah. And then you, yeah. Last son, his name is Ezra. Okay. Because I am coming with work. Uh -huh. It's still on, so I have him now. He's gonna turn the plantain for me. Mm -hmm. So he's doing the fry of the plantain. Wow. Okay. How old are you? Well, wow, cool. Susan, how many kids you have? Oh, I have um, five now, but I had six. I recently lost one of my son three years ago. Oh, this is sad. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, but it's okay, because you know what? Who's still here? God keep me all this time. Yeah. What you put on the fish? 
is a fish seasoning with a combination of oregano and all the dry herbs. Tell me, Susanna, a little bit about your older son who helped us now. Oh, this, yes, this is Zanti. Mm -hmm. He is an electrician by profession. Okay. But he came down to visit me for the weekend. Mm -hmm. So now he all right. Uh -huh. They all have a bit of cooking skill. Yeah. Under the belt. So when it's needed and it's necessary, they help out. Yeah, they, they took it from your blood, you know, yes, so they exactly cook it. Right. <laughs> the sauce from the carrot, no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have, but you know, with fish you always need a little pepper. Yeah. Okay. So sauce will be a part, yeah? No, no, no. yeah. So I'm gonna put it on the fish, but if in case it's in the extra. Okay. Aspetta, un po' di sauce, un po' di sauce, un po' di sauce, un 